So have you seen the uh, the trailer for The Fanatic? That movie with um, Robert De Niro where he's like, you play baseball and like I'm going to like uh, be a no. fan or something. No? <laughs> what is that, The Fan? The Fan, yeah. yeah. I'm joking. This is The Fan Attic. I'm joking. <laughs> and like, yeah, it's like stylized. F-A-N Attic. So yes. I'm like, okay. There's also a movie called uh, Fanatic or The Fanatic from 2017 mm -hmm. with other people in it. There's another movie called Fanatic somewhere else. This is The Fanatic, though, which the I think Fanatic, is... The yeah. Fanatic, And it's the one from, from 2019. That's its, that's its distinguish, you know, distinguishing feature. Yes. Yeah. This, this, this is John Travolta. As we, we've seen John Travolta a lot. Playing characters, doing things, whatever. But it's something about this trailer. I'm, I'm like, oh, he's like an yeah, actor I was going to say, <laughs> this is unusual because this, this is John Travolta acting in a movie. Which, Which has not happened in many, many years. He's a guy who, I, it strikes me as, like, because, you know, he started off, like, fierce with these, like, like yeah. you know, like, ah, oh, I'm in Greece and fucking Saturday Night Fever and shit. Ah, oh, I'm a stud. I'm the best. I mean, look who's talking. He's, like, this <laughs> cocky, bravado-filled man. So sure. to be playing this part of, yeah. of, like, you know, the schlub, yeah. the, like, you know, the bad guy. Like, what he's played the bad guy, and what was it, in, uh... Like basic swordfish or, or something? Arrow. No, yeah, but, yeah. Broken Arrow is a better one. Uh, but but this yeah. is this is I'm like no, this he's is, like, uh, he's like a bad guy, like bad at being a guy. Bad, bad. At, he's a bad person, bad at being a person. Yeah, I love it. No, this is a Robin Williams in one hour photo esque yes, turn yes. where he's like um, the creepy guy, like like mm -hmm. in this in this trailer for The Fanatic 2019, we see him like rehearsing in the mirror and like doing this weird. Mm -hmm. I'm your biggest fan. Uh, all that stuff. It's very awkward. He's very his, his look. The backpack, the shorts, like he looks like he looks the like mullet. He's like, a, he's like an his older hair is this Eugene, weird. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like horrible hairstyle, even everything from top to bottom. But his whole like mannerisms, the way he carries himself, like, really, really sells it. like I'm good. Like, hey, I was like, oh that's right, cool. An yeah. unrecognizable Devin Sawa. Oh my like, god, haven't seen him in forever, and I was a big fan of his. Um, for for a second before he says more, I'm like, is that Jesse from Breaking Bad? Like, who is this person or whatever? No, like, is that he's, Jeremy he's, Renner? He strikes you as like a real yeah. dude. You're like, oh, you were probably on like an HBO West. Or yeah. something like, like, uh, like. I don't know what the difference exactly is because, like, what, upon second review, years. once you know it's him, you're like, oh, yes. that. But like, sometimes you're like, you're like, oh, like, you know, oh, their face got thinner, or they this, or their hair changed. Like, there's not like, a crazy difference to him. Right. He just, I just, just like got older. He's more mature looking. He, like, he doesn't look like the the teen idol anymore. Yeah, yeah. He looks like uh, that that his Pokemon evolved or something. Like, yeah. I, like when you know, like, like Jim. Once we looked it up, we're like, the pot. oh, that's him. But like to me, still, I'm like, you know, yeah, no. If I think of he's idle hands, right? He's he's, idle he's, hands, he's that guy. Slackers, yeah. yeah. So when I think of idle hands and then that, giants. I'm like, what? <laughs> this is not the same guy at all. So that's that's shocking too. He plays the celebrity that uh, yes. John Travolta is like obsessed with and all that stuff. He played John Travolta 30 years ago. <laughs> he plays John Travolta. He's gonna find out that being John Travolta <laughs> is more than he bargained for. But yeah, this, it looks like uh, it gets real like very well, quickly. This is my issue because uh -huh. we see him pouring because it gets like like misery almost. He's like tied to the yes. bed. John Travolta is like, I just I just wanted your autograph. What the hell? And then he's like, but he's like pouring gas and wearing a ski mask and mm -hmm. there's a knife all this weird uh, stuff. A like, hockey mask. Yeah. What did I say? Ski mask. Oh, whatever. A mask. The point is, he's like, uh, like they're showing you so much stuff about how real it gets and how yeah. crazy it gets. I assume he doesn't just light them on fire and the movie ends there. So like, I don't know what's going on. I would on say here. that that's probably it. either if that's not the very end, which they do show that a lot in movies. It's a breaking moment where it's like, yeah. I could kill you right now. Yeah. You're my friend. <laughs> like, okay, okay, we're friends. Yeah. And he does the whole the thing. moment in the trailer that throws me is there's a part where Devin is like flipping a knife, like, and I'm, I'm like, I'm like, okay, you look like you're like in a fighting for your life moment ah. but you're doing the action movie knife twirl and I'm like okay uh, you are an action movie star so maybe that just comes uh, I was in John Wick 4 ha ha like, that would be good type of thing yeah. like he has training that would be really uh, but he good. looks like a fit dude while yeah. John Travolta looks like a not fit dude but like he could have the old man strength that's a thing he does like grab a bodyguard like by the neck at one point he, gets, he gets the drop on him there's some creepy shots of mm -hmm. John Travolta in Devin Sawa's house that's some of the stuff. best stuff yeah. like just someone like walking around your house cause like when do you go home do you often check every room? Do you look everywhere? I walk the perimeter. I check all the corners. I do the I do the, the, what about the under the beds? hold. Yeah. No, I don't have it under the bed. Mm, it's just, see, so you don't check. It's, it's just packed with razor blades and dynamite. Yeah, there's, that's where they hide. There's nowhere in. There's no hand. And but money, like the idea diamonds. of like, especially if you're a celebrity I know you in a mansion. Yeah. That's a big house. A lot of room yeah. to hide. Just him like darting in, in the yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. And a, then like sitting down next to the past at him in the couch, just like. We're friends. He has the best like look on his face. I'm like, I believe everything I am I know, seeing right exactly. now. Like, you look like a crazy bastard. Yeah, the shot you're referencing is like uh, Devin Sawa's like washing his hands in the kitchen or something like that. And then like in the far room that doesn't have any lights on, mm -hmm. there's a window with some pale light coming in, and you just see 
John Travolta, like walking yeah. around, which is the scariest thing, honestly. If, well, you know, what was that? What are my options? Demon, vampire, goblin, John Travolta. That's by far the scariest thing <laughs> it could possibly be. So, uh, like, the terror really comes across here. Looks nothing like Devin Sawa still. It's amazing. Oh, he's, he's much older. And, and honestly, like, the last thing I saw him with was, like, the Devil's Den or something. And, I, and he looked much like normal Devin Sawa then. Like and the that old was, I think, only, like, six or seven years really? ago. Really? I was going to say, like, like, for me, it's, like, 15 or maybe 20 years. It's been a long time since Idle Hands. So. Yeah, well. For me, I'm like, well, of course. He mm -hmm. was in a car accident or something. <laughs> like, he's no, been he reconstructed. Was, he was, it was good. There was yeah. that thing recently I saw with Macaulay Culkin, and he was wearing a shirt that had an arrow pointing up to his face, and it said Devin Sawa. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. And that made me laugh because I was like, oh, yes. all right. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. All right, well, I wonder if there's an inside joke evolved with that or if it's just a shirt you can buy somewhere. But I like to be the way. People have been getting so ironic with stuff that mm -hmm. the arrow pointing up, arrow pointing down has become more of like a thing for something yeah. like that. Yeah. I'll get you a Devon Sawa I, shirt. I, I'm with Devon Sawa, arrow pointing down. Like, <laughs> people look at it like, what does your shirt mean? What does that mean? What is your doing, dear buddy? But this looks good. I'm down. This is interesting. Like I said, just it being sort of a... Not a return, but like a departure for, for John Travolta. I'd say. Like, I'm Because he was just guy and everybody clowned on him. And it's like, oh, your yeah, face. Yeah. He was Shapiro in that um, O.J. Simpson yes, thing. Yes, which got him a little bit more clout. Yeah, I thought he was good in that. But everybody was like, those prosthetics and makeup are carrying that performance. Mm. He stinks. Like, everybody, everyone, everyone was very resistant to like, oh, he's talented. This, I think, is different, though. That's I what I mean. This will catch him. Yeah. Because, you know, he's got his boy. Fred Durst, to carry him in a directorial... <laughs> we, we neglected to mention. We, we were shocked to discover that the, director, the sole directorial credit on this, on, on this work of, uh, of a cinematic triumph here, whatever, is Fred Durst. Your yeah. boy, Fred Durst. My boy! <laughs> Our boy, Fred Durst. I don't love Fred Durst. I don't know much about him. I didn't know he was a director. You pointed out he's been doing stuff. Yeah, I, I've, um, I've seen... Uh, so he directed a lot of, like, videos, but I'd heard he directed, like, things for, like, advertisement, touristry-type mm -hmm. things, which I don't see credited on his IMDb, but, but I, that makes sense because it's not really a thing that I, I guess would be credited on yeah. there. Um, but no, he's, he's apparently been dipping his toes in these things in a while. I've heard him talk about stuff, and he seems like a smart dude. Um, okay. Like, you know, people scoffed at Rob Zombie directing things, yeah. and then some of that turned out really great. So I'm, I'm open to no, see and, how this uh, goes, and the trailer the looks guy, like he's got it. The guy from Korn, whose name I forget, you know, got into soundtrack yes, work yes. with um, the guy from Nine Inch Nails. Mm -hmm. Like, people move from that. Yeah. Like, j just because you get on stage wearing something ridiculous and screaming doesn't mean you can't also do exactly. something else in your life. That's fine. You got fine. chocolate starfish, um, and you got yeah. directing... <laughs> the uh, dirty hot dog water, or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, that's all fine and good, whatever. Like, his IMDb page, though, is not encouraging. It's a bunch of, you know, music videos, video shorts, and then, like, one other movie in this. Yeah. Which, again, doesn't mean that this couldn't be good. It's just no. like, well, like... I would have felt much different if it turned out he actually directed something else I'd heard of, or like, oh, I heard that that was good, or I didn't uh -huh. know that I didn't know that was him. Like, if something came out that was relatively well received that no one even thought to mention was Fred Durst, I would have been like, yeah. oh, Fred Durst is the man. But like, I my don't thought know. though yeah. is this is, this is going to be the first be the of thing. many, okay? Because this looks like at the very least it'll be something that gets him written checks to make more movies. Sure. Uh, even, you know, regardless of how this does, it's, it's probably going to make money because I don't know how much this costs. Even just this, even just having Travolta sure, in sure. the thing. I know it's like, whatever, we're on this. Don't underplay Devin Travolta, Sala. I was going to say. But, uh, like, those aren't the bit, that's not like Will Smith and The Rock or something. No. Like, I know that those aren't at the top or Chris mm -hmm. Pratt, whatever you want to, however old I am, however much you want to potentially old me. money people. Yeah. That's a bigger name. Like, they're yeah. like, that, well, I've heard of that Will Smith hip hop. Hippity like, hoppity. But then he got like, tricky John with. Travolta. No, I think that the name still still carries something. He's been in Hollywood for so long. He's so he's people you know, love he's, Welcome Back Carter. He's, he's such a household name that I feel like yes, to 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 have someone look over the sheet and go like, "Yep, Travolta signed this Devin Sawa kid." That doesn't look like Devin Sawa. And then flip the page and be like, "Fred Durst is directing." Okay, approved. Like that's like, wait yeah, a minute, yeah. like that that means something. They mm -hmm. had some sort of conversation, or he 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 has some clout in this like you know genre. At the very or, least, having yeah. Twitter followers for anything <laughs> or the, or retweets. But honestly, just, just be able to yes. say like, "Oh, people that like me." For something, yeah. I'm doing this, and at least someone's turning ahead. Like, you, you did a movie. What? What? Yeah. John Travolta. Yeah, I'll check that out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or even that, right? Even just like, um, it doesn't look like it's that expensive. So maybe this is a budget project where they're like, sure. hey, we're gonna get Travolta people. We're gonna get Devin Sawa people. We're gonna get Fred Durst people. They're all gonna watch this movie. Yeah, could be that. I don't know. But no, uh, th this looks very optimistic. I would definitely me. check this out. I, I no, foresee for some something about this makes me think, yeah, that'll be on Amazon in like three months. Like, I know, something yeah, about yeah. that. 
and that's, that, that's not I'm even a huge like knock thing, because yeah. a lot of movies are like that now where I'm like, oh, yeah. I can't believe, like, we just talked about that movie. I know. Oh, it's out already. Oh, cool. If it doesn't fit into one of these very specific categories. Yeah, like Marvel um, movie or DC movie, it goes right to... <laughs> or something. No, I mean... No, but it's, it's honestly, fairly true. That's what's happening today. The theater, uh, it's, very, it's very rare yeah. to see a high budget movie. Like, Fast and Furious, mm-hmm. and then certain horror movies, right? That yeah. end up getting like a viral, like a and, thing. And a lot of those horror movies of... are, are like either this cost us literally nothing to yeah. make, or oh, this is like Halloween '86, like yeah. you know, a franchise. And, and or the yeah, yeah, those cheap ones where it's like, Annabelle '82. Yeah, we just put out one every week, and eventually one is like it's taking the nation by storm. Yeah. And they show footage of people in the theater like throwing their popcorn and getting scared, right? That whole thing. Mm-hmm. But otherwise, yeah, something like this. I don't know if people are yeah. for, for like a weird Hollywood thriller. If people are going to go to the theater and stuff, so. Totes. Coming out Thanksgiving Day. Thanksgiving. <laughs> Bring the family to see your favorites. Travolta, what? Oh, okay. Right, whole thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This We're interested. Good. This is yeah, a thumbs definitely. up. Yeah, definitely. Two thumbs up, guys. Yeah. Let us know in those comments what you thought about it. Don't die in a fire, and we'll see you next time. Hello, Internets. I just love watching Just Daggers. If you've enjoyed this video as much as I have, click that subscribe button. <laughs> Peace out, homies.